Hello my little munchkins, crones, and sunflowers. How are you on this fine, fine Monday night? Yeah, night, night, early night, but it's night. So um, so let's just get into the chit chat. Let's see what was going on over the weekend. Well, over the weekend, um, who we said we want to start with Lady Crone? Uh, Krishan Rock. Oh yes, that was just today. Or when did she get, yes, she got arrested today. I and I think today. she was arrested visiting Blueface. Yes, in court. So she must have had something out on her. I don't yes. know. Krishan done been in so many fights and everything. And what's that? What 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 um the last thing was she broke that guy's tooth that was a uh, few months back that worked for um um Tamar. Mm -hmm. And um I think he was the guy that, that I think he was the sweet potato pie guy, Patty Sweet Potato Pie. Oh okay. I think that's him. But anyway, that's who I forgot his name. I don't know his name. But anyway, I wonder if it's that, you know, she got into a fight. She'd have gotten into so many fights. I don't know what it is, but there seems like it's a discrepancy on who should get the baby. Yes, there is a discrepancy about that, and I was trying to find news articles about this. Right, it's um, no one knows at this point. Yeah, I think I think um, Blueface's mother should have the baby. Yes, and I right. tell you why because she's older. That's her son, and. She would treat the baby right, and she can afford the baby. She's established. She's stable. She may come out on the air and everything, but yeah. she is stable, right? Mm -hmm. What do yeah. you think? I I think so. I mean, Clarissa. Clarissa, yes. yes. She is a name that we are familiar with. Most definitely. And I feel as though she always, even though she does not do some things I may not agree with, I do have yes. to say that. She does sound like somebody who will be reasonable and capable of raising another child. I do agree. I do agree. And because of the things that she's gone through in her life and with her children, I think, you know, you live and you learn. She's a mature woman. She is the baby grandmother. But I don't know. I don't know if Christian Rock children, I mean, her sisters are going to get the child. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. But whatever, you know, prayers going off for little baby yes. Christian. This is a shame that both Christian. Krishan and Blueface are in prison. But from what I understand, Blueface broke up with Krishan. Yes, she yes. And she that did. was like last week or so. That is so true. um I don't know why she was at court. To support him, of course. That's her baby daddy. But if somebody break up with you, listen, it never gets the fully. So do you think she's head. gonna be in jail for a while? Um I I hope so. Maybe couldn't you look beautiful? Oh, thank you. So do you. I like thank the you. earthy look that you have going on. Yeah, I do like earthy. <laughs> so yes. But I like the pastel look you have going on. Oh, thank you. I felt like being bright and lively today. That's beautiful. Well, anyway, what else yes. is going on? Um, what else is going on is surprisingly another rumor on the street. Not sure how true it is, but Kenya Moore yes, and yes, her yes, spa, yes. she... Opened up another one, or is this no, it's the same opening? one, but it then had many openings. I think this is the second or third opening, grand opening. Gosh. But nevertheless, this open this time. Bravo filmed it, and mm -hmm. allegedly she said something about this girl named Brittany. Britt, I think her name. Yeah, Britt. I think it's sure. Britt. Well, Britt or Brittany. It's about Britt and about showing some nudities with her doing fellatio. Yes. I, I led. On someone. However, this is my thing. How are you going to get in trouble for something that's already out in the world? That is true. How you? It's it's public public knowledge. Now, putting it out there, it seems to me a lot of people are just looking for Kenya Moore to get arrested. That's what it sounds like. I, I, I don't I don't want anybody to get arrested to lose their job, and no one got arrested at Bravo for something that Bravo did. Now, they may have gotten arrested for some shady stuff they were into mm -hmm. outside of Bravo, yeah. but I don't think Bravo was going to allow one of their workers mm -hmm. to get, what? Uh, 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 in trouble. In trouble, go to jail, Bravo. when they had the power to you know, yeah, and that's a lawsuit on their case. That's a lot. You know, if you're working for me, we want the drama. This is what I'm saying. The drama is too much. It is. It's like people going from link to link mm -hmm. for this drama. Yes. You don't need it. I tell you, 
I, I didn't know if I really wanted to talk about it, but you know what? Looking at the ladies of the bar, they up there talking about other stuff. They are. Stuff about, you know, one of the ladies was telling her um her story yes. to a reporter. She was castrated. I thought as a little girl, I thought that was an interesting. They talk about who was sitting close to, to Beyonce. Beyonce. As a matter of fact, some would send her perfume. I can't. That, that was the stuff. And yes. these are people that appear to be wealthy. This is what it should be about. Yes. Not all of this hatred. Mm -hmm. It's just done gone south. It's done turned ratchet. It really has. It's yeah. ratchet TV. And it I don't is. know. See Ray J about that. <laughs> yeah, for real. Most definitely. And another comment we have to make on is that we definitely see that Bravo is making some changes because apparently... Right. They may be taking away reunions now. Yeah, because they certainly not given one for um, New Jersey. New Jersey, thank you. And there is just a lot of changes going on in Bravo. And the next thing that we had to talk about was Jaguar Wright. Oh yes. yes. Well, she got out. I don't know if she got out that day, the next day, early the next day. Somebody got her out, mm -hmm. and it just seems like bloggers are kind of like. I mean, I'm hearing a lot of negative things about her. At the end of the day, this woman's out there making her money. You know, whether she blind, crippled, or crazy, she out there making her money, doing That's the true. best she can, just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Everybody true. else but us. But, you know, making their money. I'm just saying, I feel as though... Let her do what she do. You follow her, you don't follow her. You know my stance on it. I feel as though she reads, she's intuitive. And when yeah. you're intuitive, you know things. You put A, B, and come out with C, D, E, F, and G. Mm -hmm. She's an intuitive soul. And that is the only way I could say it. Because outside of that, she wasn't there. No. But when you intuitive and then she's invested in this, she is. Then you know it's just like baby Cone being invested in what? Being invested in astrology. You invested in astrology. You're gonna know a lot about it. So if somebody start talking, you'll put A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H I. <laughs> right? Yes, I'm invested true. in reading cards. So I'm gonna know. You want to become what you invest your time in. So she knows and everything else, she just connect the dots. That's how I see it. Um, I think she's just intuitive. I think that she's just on the pulse. And I think right now, let her have her shine. Okay. Let her have her shine, you know, um, because one day everything is going to be fixed up. That is true. And that may be a couple of years from now. But until then, that, let that woman be. That's my opinion. You know, I judge no one for what they feel. But all I'm saying is, I know a lot of people say, you know, she doesn't tell the truth. <laughs> she embellishes. But uh, I don't know what else to say about that lady. Yeah, all I pretty much have to say is they, if they, did, if they didn't arrest her for long or even put her on trial, it definitely seems like... It was something she did. She stole a truck and didn't put yeah. it out. I mean, of course, I mean uh, at least I'm not very sure how the law goes, but when it said that it was like a third degree felony, at least according to the state that she was in, mm -hmm. it sounded like it was going to be something serious. But I'm glad it wasn't because literally she just didn't turn a U-Haul truck in time. Right. Like so, or some kind of truck. But mm -hmm. nevertheless, they got their truck. She yeah. got out. Mm -hmm. And there it is. Now, who else we have? And then the last person we have to talk about, talk about pettiness, is Benefer. Or not Benefer. Because they're selling their $60 million home. Wow. And it seems like that's going to be hard to sell in a market like this, I think. I think so. 60, I mean, hey, Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood, but according to the rumor on the street that this was, like, the home that they were, like, dreaming of together. That they just bought this yeah, house, yes. right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not even sure if it would spend two years or not. But what do someone do? No, no judgment. Okay. What do you do outside of live? What do you do in a $60 million home? I have no idea. That's a lot of space. I, I don't even, up. maybe it's me. Maybe. When there's so much you can do with that money. Mm -hmm. It is so much you can help the home. This is so much. I, I, it's, 
I don't even know how two people can live in a $60 million house and not feel guilty. I feel you. I don't understand it, but that's me. Don't let me get on my humanitarian kick because I feel as though no one should have that kind of money. Mm -hmm. No one. That's, that's just sacrilegious for to have that kind of money when people not far from your door are starving or that hungry is true. or need a car or a job. I, I, I don't. Yeah, and my wild thing is, is it sounds like your charity that you just recently did on Jennifer Gartner. Mm -hmm. it, even though this isn't about Jennifer Gartner, but it just shows you that Ben might be eking his way back to Jennifer Gardner. But she's engaged. You know what I read. I don't know. I think that um, it is, I don't think that she's fully let him go in her heart. I don't think she fully let him go. And let me see. Whatever it is. I'm gonna, let me just lay three cards out. I don't think one, Jennifer Gardner, did she really let him go? I don't think she let him go. I don't care. She's been with that man off and on for five years. What's his name, John? John Miller, yes. And they've been together for what, nine years? Yes, since 2018. And now they just talking about getting the shit ready. Mm -hmm. Curious about this. Just let me find out three cards. Just three. I just, just out of curiosity. Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Garner. Can't keep up an image anymore, that's for sure. Jennifer Gardner, I just want to know, is she, do she, is she ready to marry? That's a good question. Is she ready to marry John? It's been a couple days. I see. see the cups, but someone is coming to her with cups. I see a loss. However, I do see a loss or or something you have a loss, but I definitely see that there's still good there. So I think that Ben is coming to, this is how I see it. You tell me. I see this has been coming to her with love, with regret, with all of this. I see that she's looking at the loss and the time mm -hmm. and everything, but all is not lost because there are two cups in back of her. And I definitely see a reuniting of a completion of somebody living a very good life, very happy, very established, very. But you're giving me all that, but is she ready to marry? See, I just see Ben. Yes. I see the star. One more. And more I cups. see the cups. No. I, 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 is she in love? Is she in love? Is she in love? Is she's ready to marry John? Okay. Let's see. <laughs> no. See, everything is been, 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 been. I don't think she's ready. I don't think she's over Ben. However, the cards are showing, from my opinion, they are, I think her and John get a while long, but I think that Ben and all the drama and everything that's going on, I thought that I think it's just heavy. Okay. I think it's a heavy relationship, but I don't think that she's fully over Ben. Okay. Whether they get back together or not, I just don't think that she's that she's over him. I think for her to get married right now, I think it would just be too much. Okay. Yeah, see. It's still friction. I don't think that she should do it. I think that things need to die down some. Give it a couple of more months, but time will reveal. But if she does marry that man, good luck. Yeah, good luck to him. Because she's going to need it. They're both going to need it. They're both going to need it. I don't see them ready. Mm -mm. I, I don't. They, it took nine years, and I can see why. Yeah. It's clear. And it just doesn't seem like she may love John, but it just seems like she's not over Ben, for, I mean Ben, and Ben not over her. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see them. We'll see because her and Ben, what's her sign? I think she's an Aries. And he is a Leo. Okay. How that work? What are their, I thought, what are their opposites? Yeah, she's an Aries, so her opposite will be a Libra. Okay. And both Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are Leos. So and you know they just too much alike. Yeah, and their opposites are Aquariuses. So 
they have a lot in common, but too much fire, too strong. Yeah, he likes fire, apparently. And it's too strong of a personality. So what about Jennifer Gardner? She's an Aries. And what is her neighbor? A Libra. And so they still have, they don't have nothing in common. That gone mad. Uh, but besides the fact that they're all fire signs. Outside of the fact that they have all fire, they done all just, just blew each other up with heat. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, they are Jennifer Gardner. What what about what about her, her fiance? Jennifer Gardner, I don't think she should go back to Ben, even though I don't think she's over him. I think she's not with her soulmate. I think he's I, I want to know what sign he is, but all that fire. It's too emotional. It's too emotional, too creative. It's just too much and really, and it's too much going on. And, and they just burn each other out. What's his son? I'm trying to find that out. They don't have a birthday for him. Oh, well, I don't have time to waste. Okay. So anyway. That's interesting. Even if they get back together, I, I don't. I don't, I think it's too much fire. I think that um, fire drains fire. That is you know, true. it has nowhere to land. It just keeps burning and burning and burning and burning. And I just think that they are, they're not in their match. They are still, in a sense, fire on fire. They have nothing to cool them off. They have nothing to, to balance. balance them. And even if they do, I don't know where it is. I don't know what their what their setting sign is, is that it's their inward sign. Let me go with that. I see their sun sign, but their inward sign, that has a lot to play in it. But from what I understand by their sun sign, none of them is compatible. Your, your, your soulmate is what you are opposite to. Yes. It's your opposite. You understand? That is your soulmate. It's supposed to be opposite, not like you, mm -hmm. and not your neighbors. You understand? Well, enough of that. We're going to go more into that when we do go live. Yes. We're going to be talking about soulmates and uh, what is it? Twin flame. Yes. And, and the zodiac and, and the knowledge that I'm receiving. So with that being said, that's just a news quick week. <laughs> a quick recap with the chit chats. <laughs> a news recap with us yes. to chit chat what went over the weekend. Mm -hmm. How is that? You want to yes. add anything? Um, yes. I just want to add some petty news about how Cardi B was sick and having some fight with somebody online. And the irony that was of, yesterday. Yes. And the irony of her saying that people have too much time to be on the internet, um, uh, being mean to people when that's literally all she does. So, but, you know, she's sick. She wasn't thinking right, apparently. <laughs> Lord help them. With that being said, sunflowers.